<clears throat> like we mentioned last week, the, the uh, Elton, or oh, let me start like this. Uh, Elton is like all the other players, like a John Clay, like uh, we, we, we follow or do road maps on players, probably 60, 70 players. And obviously, with the two injuries that we had last week, we only had Marnie standing as a fly-off, you know. And and Elton is uh, how, how great is that to, to, to have the ability to fall back on an experienced guy like Elton, you know, who's, um, I think he's close to 50 test matches and he's been in our environment. Uh, so it's nice to get him in, in the mix uh, for the two injured guys. But um, uh, we can... Yeah, in, in, in a week or two's time, we can have all four uh, flyers. But uh, Elton was, as you would probably think, he was probably our fourth choice uh, flyer. And again, I'm saying what a, what a, uh, how lucky we are in terms of depth to, to have a guy of his standard uh, um, as a fourth choice available to us. Uh, can I add to that? I think the benefit of that is a little bit, uh, which we people don't always think about, is that the... Uh, there's no pressure on Andre to rush that injury now. There's no pressure on Damien, who both will be very important for us leading into out of rugby championship into the three warm up games going to the World Cup. You know, uh, with not having a fourth fly of here, you know, it's almost when are you going to be ready, guys? When are you going to be ready? How are you going to be ready, Andre? Now it's take your time, heal that thing properly. And, and I think just maybe the uh, update, I, I think there's a very good chance that Damien will be cleared next week. Uh, which is great, but you know, if we didn't have somebody who almost would, should, would have been in a position to, because we almost like to force him, and, and this gives us the opportunity to let those guys sit for close, uh, slowly and be 100% ready when we select them. Hi. 